Hey guys, you're looking to update your uh, plasma cutter torch. Um, what do you go for? Well, it depends what you want to do. Um, some of you guys like using the pencil torches. This is like if you want to make a homemade CNC machine or something like that. Or you've got your uh, your PT31, which I like because it's got cheap consumables. But all these torches have different um, different price consumables. Well, they do here in New Zealand anyway. So I tend to go for the budget end, you know me, cheap as chips, Pete, you know me. Um, like you've got your SG51, which is a good torch, which is probably a better quality torch than the old um, PT31, but it, like I say, it depends what you're doing and it depends what you want to pay for your consumables. Then you've got the uh, AG60 torch here, and we've got another sort of AG60 torch, another style of the torch here. And uh, I've even found that you can, like if you've got running a 40 or 50 amp plasma cutter and you've got one of these suckers lying around in the, uh, in the drawer somewhere at home, um, I also I'm wondered if I could plug a, like a 80 or 100 amp plasma torch into my 40 or 50 amp plasma cutter and would it work? Have a look at the video guys and I shall show you the different torches and um, how they work. Like for the plasma cutter machines guys, I'm just talking your standard cut 40, cut 50 sort of machine, you know, the stuff you buy on Amazon or, or eBay or whatever. You know, this is Chinese generic stuff. So uh, on the torch settings here, you've got your, your air coming in there. You've got your uh, plug there for your switch, and you've got your earth there for your earth clamp. Um, there is, uh, you guys in the States, um, if it's made locally, you may have a different sort of um, fitting on your on your machines, and I don't know much about them to tell you the truth, because I don't buy the American-made stuff. So uh, I'm only really referring to these ones. But uh, the American-made stuff, I think it has a plug like this. But like I say, guys, I'm, uh, I'm just talking about these machines here so anyway this is my machine if you don't know already and what I'll do is I'll give you a demonstration of the torches cutting some different stuff on the different torches and I'll uh, just see the difference the way it cuts so what we have here guys is the torch that I put on with this machine this uh, originally didn't come with this sort of torch but I put a PT31 torch on this machine for the simple reason that I was using a hell of a lot of uh, consumables that are quite expensive here so these are the cheapest consumables I could find and I started bringing them in from overseas and uh, they're still the cheapest consumables I could find. So this is just a PT31 torch on a uh, cut 40, cut 50 plasma cutter. So I'll show you this one. As you can see, it cuts good. Uh, it's got a double-ended consumable on it, so there's no issue with that. You get twice the life out of your consumables, and like I say, they're as cheap as chips. So that's good. That's why I like this torch, but this is only me only, because um, I cut a lot of flat plate and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, my first choice, and now I will go and put another torch on, the, on my machine, and I'll show you that one. Okay, guys, so I've changed my torch out on the machine now. Now I'm running an AG60. And you get this sort of AG60 torch, or you can get this sort of AG60 torch. I prefer this sort of torch for the simple reason that it's got a guide on it that, um, that helps you when you're cutting and uh, you don't bugger your consumables so quick. But these consumables here are a bit dearer than the first ones I show you with the PT31 consumables. But this is just uh, the AG60 torch, and I'll show you how this thing cuts, guys. So that that appeared to be a little bit quicker, same power setting, I haven't altered the power setting or anything. Appeared to be a little bit quicker, but like I said, the consumables are a little bit dearer. Well they are in New Zealand anyway, and I've looked on Amazon and eBay and that, and they, they seem to be a little bit dearer than the PT31s. The, uh, the electrodes, like this, they're only a, like a, a single use electrode, and you can see that the, uh, the cutting tips, whoops, I just dropped that, but you can see that anyway, the cutting tips are a lot more sophisticated than like the PT31, the first one I showed you, this is a PT31 and this is a PT31 electrode and this is a reversible electrode whereas this on the AG60 is only single use, it's not reversible and these are I would say 40 or 50% more expensive than the PT31 consumables but and you only get one use out of them, whereas the PT31 you get two uses out of them anyway guys, so that's the uh, SG60 torch so next guys we have the uh, SG51 torch, now this is, uh, we go the PT31, we go the AG60 and the SG51, this one here, 
And this here, again, with the consumable, I haven't got this one set up, guys, so I can't show you how this one cuts, but it cuts better than the uh, previous one I showed you. But once again, the consumables are a little bit different. You've just got a bigger nozzle, and here you've got a, a really sort of large electrode, but it's only one use, and you've got quite a fancy swirl ring here too. So once again, on the scale of things, the um, consumables for these are dearer going up the list if you follow what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, so this is a good torch as well, uh, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, once again the consumables are a little bit dearer for this one. So uh, yep, so anyway that's the SG51. I don't know if you've seen these sort of torches guys, this is a pencil torch and it's running on the uh, PT31 framework. And uh, once again it's got your double ended electrode, you just turn it over. But um, these, a lot of guys use these, they take the switches off here and they use them for like the homemade CNC machines. So, you know, um, good torch. You can get the pencil torches in like, you can even get it like an 80 and a, and a 100 amp torch. You can get it in the uh, AG60 style torch and the SG51 torch as well. Like you can get, um, like this torch here, but you can get it in a pencil style. Or you can have uh, this torch here in a pencil style. Or you can have this torch here at a pencil style. So there's a whole lot of different options, guys. Anyway, I'll plug I'll plug this little sucker in and then we'll do some cutting with that, eh? And I'll show you. So we've got my little pencil torch hooked up into the old machine, so uh, he looks quite cool, eh? So remember, guys, a lot of a lot of fellas when they make a, a CNC machine and they use their cut 40, cut 50 machines, they use this sort of torch because they put it in a in an arm, as you know, and it, and it goes like that. So anyway, he's hooked up, so we'll see what it does, eh? Good torch guys, not too bad at all actually, not too shabby if you had it on an arm or something or a, uh, you know, one of those pentagraphs or whatever they're called, it would probably work uh, reasonably well I'd say. Um, torch is cheap as, cheap as chips, eh? as usual. I'll whack some links down below if you want to have a look at any of these torches, if you want to upgrade your machine. But um, yeah, they're pretty cheap and um, easy, to, easy to swap over, no worries whatsoever, It'll take you less than five minutes and you're done. Um, yeah, but have you ever wondered whether you can use a big plasma torch like this, this is rated 80 to 100 amps on a 40 or a 50 amp machine. Let's plug it in and see, eh? All these torches are generic Chinese stuff. They all seem to have the same fittings on them. Doesn't matter whether it's a 100 amp torch or it's a, or it's a 30 or 40 amp torch, they all seem to have exactly the same fittings. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, hook it up and let's see what happens. Right, so here we have a P80, a Panasonic 80 torch. This is uh, rated up to 100 amps. And this is a heavy torch, it's quite an industrial style torch. And it's hooked up to my little um, cut 40 plasma cutter. The wiring's obviously right. Let's see if we'll cut anything guys. What do you reckon? Well, hello. That's that's pretty cool, actually. And that that's, this thing ain't gonna wear out, mate. This this is gonna last forever on that sort of machine. And this runs uh, consumables like this. You got the uh, you got your electrode here. Once again, it's single use, and these are quite well. I wouldn't say they're quite expensive, but they're more expensive than the, than the smaller torches I've showed you. But I think you'll get three or four times the wear out of these. And uh, it has cutting tips here, and these cutting tips come in different size nozzles. For the end there, so the, the smaller the hole is here, the basically the uh, the deeper you cut, basically. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome, eh? And uh, I'd say if you're running one of these torches on a little machine, I would I would say you wouldn't even go through any consumables at all, hardly. I didn't actually realise that the thing would run like that. But anyway, let's whack it off another lump and let's have a go again. Oh, that's a pretty clean cut, guys. Pretty clean cut and done nothing to the nozzle whatsoever. 
Hey, that's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, let's pull this over to pieces unless I can get, to have it don't get burnt. And see if it's done anything to the electrode. Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Still like new. Hey, well, that's an interesting idea, isn't it? Hey, that's a very interesting idea. Anyway, guys, that's about my uh, my thing for the day. Um, hope you learned something. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Always remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Drop me another like or drop me a line. And um, I'll put some links to these torches. I like this torch here. Yeah, I'll put some links to these torches down below if you want to go and investigate yourself. Anyway, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.